Hello guys, uh, we're using OBS here to uh, record some Final Fantasy XI footage and this video is going to be a uh, sole purpose of actually explaining how to use OBS to configure your screen properly so for a full screen uh, game you can actually see all sides of the uh, interface and everything inside of the interface. Uh, there have been some uh, problems that people have posted on such forums like reddit.com where you look and it says need help with OBS part of the screen is being cut off. Uh, they explain like this is what the cock cockpit of my game should look like this is what it does look like and every time they explain this what they're what they're referring to is how the uh the lower right side uh, of the window is cut off uh, if we go and look at some other forums what we can see the same exact uh, problem that other people are having this is a common problem obs's default settings uh do not complement full screen games you have to actually set that stuff up yourself see bottom right of window is cut off this is on obs project obs project.com so this is an obs official page here and they explain that the bottom right of the window is always being cut off when they use the Windows Capture. I'm going to show you really quick how you can actually set the, the, the config, configure the uh, OBS settings to actually have that to be a non-issue anymore. As you can see, my uh, OBS, I'm recording, and my OBS is actually showing not necessarily the entire screen. My character is supposed to be centered in the screen, and as you can see on the recording here, he's in the bottom right. Well, what that means is the, the bottom and the right side are cut off, and, and he's not in the center of the screen anymore. So in order to actually get the entire window, and I'll show you, I'll demonstrate that he's not in the center of the screen by moving my screen around. You can see that there are parts of the screen that are cut off uh, in the OBS window and you can't ever see the bottom unless I drag it way past the top so I mean just you just believe me that it's cutting off the bottom as well. So the easiest solution here, uh, a lot of the answers on your forums have been telling you to use Control F, which is a hotkey that actually fits to screen the pi the, the image that you're recording. Uh, and of course, not everyone is going to want to know uh, is going to want to be able to use Control F. It's a hotkey. It does a lot of things on a lot of different apps. If this isn't the active window, Control F will probably do a find on a search, uh, uh, do a search on a document or something like that. So in order to actually do do the fit to screen manually without having to worry about hotkeys or anything like that could go wrong, you're going to want to uh, do a few things on OBS and it's very simple. The first thing you're going to do on OBS is you're going to go down uh, to the scenes window. Um, I'm trying to get it to show up in the actual recording here. There's a, uh, it says scenes. Uh, a little bit farther down uh, underneath where my mouse is currently and uh, of course you you would probably have already learned how to create scenes and then create sources well what you need to do is the first thing is you're going to want to make sure that you're selecting uh, out of your list of scenes and sources you're selecting a scene and a source that is either a monitor capture or uh, an, a game capture or an application capture of some kind uh, and the specific capture that it's actually in the source is what you're trying to get in full screen. If I were to, for example, uh, select in my sources my League of Legends game and then try to fit the League of Legends game to screen while I'm actually playing Final Fantasy XI, what's going to happen is nothing is going to happen. I tried that earlier and it was driving me nuts and I could not figure out why it wasn't working suddenly. You have to have the application you want fit to screen selected and then once you have that selected you're going to actually right click on anywhere on the screen you don't have to click edit scene or anything like that some people say you have to click edit scene but it doesn't really do anything if you click edit scene uh, you can just easily right click here go down to where it says position and size and I'll, I'll uh, have the mouse up a little higher so we can see it in the recording position and size and there you have a whole bunch of options the very top one is fit the screen each one of these options will do something different with the interface so uh, you can use the tools however you like and play around with it it's easy to fix you can always reset the size uh, if it's a problem if, if what you, you don't like what you've done but fit to screen is the control F that people are talking about when you click fit to screen look what happens guys you get the entire Windows desktop that you have or whatever uh, OS you're using the entire desktop including the start bar including the clock everything everything will show up in this window now and so uh, now when you look at my Final Fantasy interface I'm gonna move OBS out of the way make Final Fantasy my active window and as you can see now I have the bottom showing up I can see my uh, party men menu I can see my chat I just pull up my chat I can see my chat menu well I can say hi to you guys hello uh, smile and you know wave and you can actually see what I'm typing now and you can see the emotes in the chat as well and my character is actually centered like he's supposed to be I could put it in full screen and he'll be centered uh, I can put it in windowed mode and uh, he'll be centered and I can see the entire 
window now because all I had to do was click uh, Control F or right click uh, position size and fit to screen. And then there you go. And of course, if you don't like it, like I said, reset size, puts it right back where it was, bam. Uh, so you can just play around with these features and, and get it to do whatever you need it to do. And I really hope that this helps you guys because a lot of people have unanswered questions on these forums. And I'm going to link them to this YouTube video. It's an easy fix. All right. Enjoy. And uh, as always, be sure to wreck it.